here at T-Bones. We're going to try some steak. Come on in with me. I am going to do the 12 ounce ribeye. Do you know what sides you're going to get? I yet? do. I'm going to do a baked potato. That's it? It comes with one side? Yes, one side. But it comes with a salad also. A so side and a salad? Yes. And I'm going to get the fish and chips, beer battered cod. And I'm going to hope for the best. And this is the view outside the window of this. Place. Pretty cool, huh? Brian's salad looks beautiful and the ranch dressing looks like it's homemade. Then they brought out some bread, which is warm, and a big old blob of butter. Yum. I got him under pressure. I'm gonna watch him take a bite. It looks extremely good, like really fresh. Oh, how is it? Lettuce is good. Let me try tomato. How's the ranch? The ranch is really good. It definitely doesn't look like nasty bottled ranch. No, it's good. How was the tomato? Did you try it? I just tried the tomato. It was good. So the bread is extremely soft. It looks like some kind of a homemade either wheat bread or like a nut bread. It's got like little different nuts and stuff in it. Let's give it a try. The bread's very good. It tastes a little bit sweet. And the butter is really good too. Alright, Brian's going to try the bread. Definitely bears homemade, doesn't it? Lots of nuts and seeds and stuff in it. How do you like it? Yeah, it's nice and soft, and the, the butter is very whipped, and it uh, tastes really well. But it's definitely good. Brian's getting ready to cut into his steak. He likes it medium. I have a feeling it's maybe medium rare. And I'm going to help him eat some of that ribeye because the rib cap is the part he's not a fan of, and I love it. That right there, Brian, is the rib cap. So I'll take that if you don't want it. The rib eye is the round part. You don't like it? Well, it's too fatty. I should have got the... Um... Well, that's because you're cutting the outside. Cut, cut the eye. This is called the eye. See how meaty that is? Yeah. So, I'm going to take his outer piece. He's going to eat the main part. It's good. He's trying it without A1 sauce to tell you all what he thinks. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's got um, some kind of seasoning on it, which is pretty good, actually. So, it's, um, it's cooked, cooked fine. So it's going pretty good. Okay, now he can go ahead and put his A1 all over it. I just tried a piece of his steak. I think it's delicious. So the Yukon mashed potatoes, I just tried them. They're really good. They're not too creamy. They're not too lumpy. They're just right.
So one cool thing about coming to Myrtle Beach, you can get all these tons of coupon books. And different coupon books will have different things. Some have repeats, but it's not just dining uh, coupons. It's things to do in the area. You get coupons for that and entertainment and comedy shows, different things. And then there's these little, what I call trinket places, where I like to get maybe a magnet, one per year, and just put the date on the back, stick it on the fridge for memory's sake. Or even get a Christmas uh, ornament that says Myrtle Beach of some sort. So this one's for bargain beachwear. So let's go in and see what they've got. like these types of stores. There's several stores. There's the Eagles, there's Bargain Beachwear, there's Whales. Several of them are very similar. This particular one though, they always seem to set things up real nice and colorful. There's just so much. So much you can buy. Drink koozies. Toys for the kids. There's lots of pool toys too. Shirts galore. Shirts of all different sizes. In fact, I've got to buy me a towel so we can put it on the motorcycle seat because it was so hot. It wasn't hot out, but it was sunny. And when we sat on the motorcycle seat, it burned our buns. I've always loved tie-dye. It's been hard to find tie-dye in a nice bigger size because they shrink like crazy. They'll tell you it's like a 3X and it turns out to be a, a regular large by the time you wash it. Got all kinds of bathing suits, beach towels. If you're a dog lover, you got doggy beach towels. boards and sandals and flip-flops. Alright, we're gonna go find magnets. I keep getting distracted. Oh, look how cute this is. Speaking of distraction. Ah, that's cute swim trunks. Do you say trunks or bathing suit? Oh, okay. I might have to put Brian in something cute like this with little matching shorts like that. Look! Let's see if I can show it all in here. You got your little shirt and your, your bathing suit shorts. Hey Brian, you want a little smiley face bathing suit shorts? Or a little bathing suit shirt? Smiley it's face? <laughs> I don't think he's too thrilled. You probably wouldn't catch him dead wearing that stuff. Okay. I think magnets would be over here somewhere. We're on the hunt for magnets. I wonder what's in that special room there. Oh, it's clearance. Nothing over $5.99. That's what the sign said out there too. All right. Where's the magnets? Brian, have you seen the magnets? I haven't seen any magnets. So this is normally what a shirt looks like before Gail gets her hands on it. And after she washes it, <laughs> this is what. Oh, but it fits you perfectly. See, he's distracting me. I started to find my magnets and I keep getting all these distractions. Free. 
so far I'm not seeing anything that strikes my fancy. I really just want one, but I don't know if they'll give you one for half price. I think it's gonna be buy one, get one. And you got these that have sand that didn't really come from Myrtle Beach. It likely came from China. And then they stamp it for the area that you're in. So Brian found this cool beer koozie for bottled beer. And there you go. Good thing it didn't have a bottle in it. Yeah, he almost dropped it, so good thing it didn't have a bottle in it. So that's pretty cool. So we'll get that. How much is it? Let's show the camera. Six dollars. Six dollars. Yeah, it's uh, six dollars too much. Ugh, we're gonna get it anyways. So although I didn't find magnets yet, we're gonna go someplace else and look tomorrow with other coupons. We got this little beer bottle koozie and a gift for his mom because she used to like to play the saxophone. So I think she'll like that. She likes things like this. 